There is a fundamental flaw with the way that most of us have been taught to set goals. What is the fundamental flaw? It's set a specific outcome as a goal. And I know it makes logical sense to all of us, right? <laughs> Why would I set a goal if I don't want an outcome? I want the outcome, so I set the goal, right? Obvious. And yet when we set an outcome-based goal, we're setting ourselves up to fail because it's sending the wrong messages to our brain. And it does that in three ways. The first one is we don't get to celebrate achieving the goal until we get there. Our brain loves accomplishment. It's a big part of what motivates us. And yes, there are other strategies that we can do to get a sense of accomplishment as we move towards the goal. But our brain's not stupid. Your brain's not stupid. It knows that you haven't got to the goal yet. And so we don't get that full sense of accomplishment until we get to tick that goal off. And that means that all the time we're doing the work and the hard work to make the change, we're not putting the extra fuel in our tank that we need to get there in terms of that sense of accomplishment, that momentum, that motivation. So that's number one. We're driving on a tank that's getting emptied. Number two, we get stuck in the gap. Every time we measure our progress towards the goal, even if we've made progress and it feels good, yada, 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 we know we're not there yet. And when we know we're not there yet, we're reinforcing our self-image as the kind of person who does not have the goal, who is not experiencing the goal, which means that we're not the kind of person who does get to experience the goal. Okay, we're reinforcing our self-image as that goal is for another kind of person. It's kind of obvious that if we do that, we're not going to get there, right? We're going to self-sabotage ourselves. Psychologists will tell you we cannot outperform our own self-image. That's the glass ceiling we bump up against. And so we keep self-sabotaging, we keep getting distracted, we keep falling off, and we don't get there. And then we say to ourselves, well, obviously I'm just not the kind of person who can have that. <laughs> and so we get stuck. So that's the second way that outcome-based um, goals um, really keep us stuck where we're at. And the third way is the more specific we are about the outcome, the more we narrow down our options for getting there, which means we're missing out on many, many alternative ways to actually get to the same kind of result or even something better, right? So we narrow our options down. Then if something happens to mean that, that the strategy that we've chosen doesn't work, it's like, ah, oh, well, I'm just going to have to give it up because we're not open to any others. So what do we do about it? We, we actually turn it around. Just let go of the outcome. Let go of being attached to the outcome. I know that that is a bit of a idea for many of us. But let's be honest, we want the outcome so that we can be a certain kind of person, feel a certain kind of way. So choose to be the kind of person for whom that outcome happens naturally. And when you are that kind of person, the outcome must happen naturally because you're the kind of person who enjoys it, who gets to have it, who does the things that bring that result, right? So in summary, to set an identity goal, think about the outcome that you want. Think about who is the kind of person, the version of you, who just gets to enjoy that outcome naturally. How does that version of you think, feel, speak, and act? Pick three small shifts maximum, between one and three small shifts that are aligned with that version of you, that help you become that version of you, and commit to start doing them right away. The key to lasting change is super small shifts started now, so start doing them now instantaneously and do it consistently. And as you do, you'll find that that expands and you'll be able to make additional shifts and more shifts and more shifts. And before you know it, you'll be the kind of person for whom that goal happens naturally and you'll get it. You'll get the outcome probably more quickly than you otherwise would have thought possible. And even better, because you've become the kind of person who enjoys it, you'll stay there. All right, so that's what I wanted to share with you today. I strongly encourage you, I strongly encourage you to apply this. Why? Because this is the key to completely transforming your life. You want to transform your business results? Become the kind of person 
the kind of business person, the kind of human being who has the business results that you're after. You want to transform your health, become the kind of person who enjoys wonderful health, well-being and vitality. Think, feel, speak and act like that kind of person. You want to show up as a, as a parent in a particular way and have great relationships with your kids. Become the kind of person who shows up like that. And the rest will come. So I hope that you've gained something from that. Now, as always, I have show notes available. I know I've covered a lot. Drop notes in the chat if you would like a copy of my show notes. And look, I would love to hear what, um, what you've gained from this. So over the next couple of weeks, I'm actually offering to people a gift call. It's not a sales call or anything. I'm not going to be selling anything. But I would like to offer a gift call. Um, to anyone who is struggling, particularly struggling to create the focus and the time to accomplish the things that you want to accomplish, to become the kind of person who is achieving what you want in your business and in your health and as a parent. Um, so I'm giving away some free coaching around that, around what your biggest challenge is in that area. It is a gift. I am not going to sell you anything on that call. Um, and it's just for the next couple of weeks. So if that's something, you know, if you feel like there's in that area that you could actually use a little bit of extra support or some extra ideas or just, you know, a different perspective, I'm going to drop a link in the... In fact, actually, what I'll say is just drop um, call... That's an obvious one, right? Drop call in the comments and I will send you a direct message and we'll get that set up. 